Good morning, everybody. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rena Nine. And with the top stories on this Monday, July 13th, there's a massive manhunt underway right now in Mexico following the brazen prison break that freed one of the world's most notorious drug lords. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was last seen Saturday night. And security experts say by now he could be just about anywhere. Apparently, he escaped through a mile long tunnel dug directly to his prison cell. Now, Pope Francis wrapped up his historic journey to South America with a final stop in Paraguay. As he headed to the airport, he drove past and blessed the site of a 2004 supermarket fire in which 400 people died. During his eight day trip, he visited hospitals, the poor, and even prisons. He was treated like a rock star at every stop. Donald Trump refusing calls from his party to tone down his rhetoric on immigration after thousands of supporters turned out in Phoenix for Trump's largest campaign rally to date. He told the Washington Post that the immigration issue cannot be toned down. And finally, Jumpy Jacks on a Saturday night in San Antonio, Texas. Good workout, right? That's how Chris Galvin passed some of the two hours. He was locked in a FedEx store. Galvin called another FedEx store and an employee came over to let him out. He joked after his release saying he read a lot of books about collating and paper stock to pass the time. Coming to him a lot of bubble wrap. How do you get stuck in a FedEx store? No idea. Well, there's more to this story. We'll get to the bottom <laughs> of it. You can get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rita Nine, and thanks so much for watching.